Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about some Stanley products. We're going to start off with the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set, which is this guy right here. Now, you can tell it's been quite well used. Um, this has gone on pretty much every camping trip I've gone on since I purchased it. And it kind of lives in the bag that I keep with me for occasional hikes on the way home from work or, you know, it just keep the bag in my car for stuff like that or uh, you know I guess it serves as a mini bug out bag I guess you can say and what's great about this particular container here is it's just the right size for me for just the one-man trips that go on and if I do happen to have a second person it's doable for two people and you can see uh, inside here it does come with uh, two cups which we'll get to in a moment um, outside it does have graduations up to 20 ounces or 591 milliliter I will put down in the description full details of this in both uh, you know standards um, I can say this is actually rated at 24 ounces for the whole cup and uh, it is an 18.8 stainless steel um, I've actually used this in a couple campfires they don't recommend doing that but I have done it of course they weren't big roaring fires they were just down to the actual coals um, but that's worked quite well uh, this works very well for things like reheating um, those you know dehydrated meals which i haven't really used it for but um, before i purchased this i did quite a bit of research on it just to see what kind of cook sets were great and for stuff that's offered locally and like target and walmart and a couple other places like that this was a reasonable price they'd have it on stanley's website for 30 bucks but you can definitely get it much cheaper than that in uh, walmart or target or amazon or anything like that uh, it's a, it's a nice piece of kit. Now, you'll, if you do read the reviews, you see there's a lot of people that do quite a bit of different modifications on it, and I'll get into all that in just a second when we look at the whole thing, but uh, it, it does have some information on the bottom, which is coming off just a little bit because it's been put into fires, but this is like um, imprinted on here. Uh, this is, um, like I said, stainless steel, which is BPA free, which is always a good thing. Uh, on the top here, I'll show you, this is a, a locking um, latch up here, a little locking mechanisms in the back. And this just locks out like that. Uh, this piece here slides forward and that locks that in place. It makes it hard to squeeze and um, disengage. The lid on top, as you can see, is vented. Uh, you could use this to strain off like water if you're making pasta in it, or like I said, works uh, great with ramen noodles, things like that. There is a little uh, tab at the top. Now I, I hear a lot of people that say they modify this, they take this off, and they put the actual same ring like you would use on a keychain, like one of these guys here, you know, just one of these split rings, and they just thread that through. Um, I didn't find that to be necessary. Um, the fear was that, that it would melt in, pla in uh, the fire, but the lid doesn't really get hot enough to melt that really that I saw um, and and I like that when you lock this down it kind of sits flush if you see that it's it sits nicely and some of the other modifications that I've heard that people have done with this um, were to either drill a hole here and on the opposite side so you can slip a wire like a bent piece of wire that would act as a bale that you could flip up and then hang this over a fire or um, uh, forget which youtuber I saw mention it but he actually took alligator clips like these guys and you can see they have this wide opening at the top here and he figured out that if you use them with this uh, little lip over here you could see it sits in there pretty good and if you had two of those like this you could actually just put a piece of ball chain over the top here, connect them like that, and, and hang that over a fire. So there's definitely another way you could do it. Um, I've heard people say that they've put notches right here and right here with a Dremel tool. So this handle will actually sit straight up like that and lock into place, and they've used that as a bale to hang over a fire which would make sense too. So there's definitely a lot of different ideas you could do with that. Um, I started mentioning the cups inside. There are two cups. These are 10 ounce cups, I believe. Yeah, 10 ounce or 295 milliliter. Also BPA free. This is um, polypropylene, 
which is the little five here and a little PP. Oh, I mentioned 18.8 stainless steel. That's 18% uh, chromium and 8% nickel. Uh, these two cups, this whole piece, the top, that comes in at 0.88 pounds according to Stanley's website. That of course is 0.399 kilograms. Um, I'll put the dimensions down in the description below. You know, I don't have very big hands, but you can kind of get an idea how that sits like that. Here's a um, 12 ounce beer can that I modified into a uh, pen holder. You can kind of get an idea for size. Um, a lot of people say what they end up doing with this is, is they uh, end up not bringing the cups with them. And what they do bring is one of these standard stainless steel folding handle cups. I picked this up in Walmart. It may have been the Ozark Trail brand. I, I don't really remember. It may have been Mainstays brand, Walmart's you know, brand. I don't really remember. Uh, I know GSI makes a very similar cup, but this fits directly in here. And I've heard people say you can get certain Nalgene style bottles that will fit in there. I don't believe, um, I actually have um, a Camelback style bottle, which is this one here. Again, a free Uline thing. And you can see that fits in there. So if you did actually do this right, you could pack this um, pretty well. Um, of course, you would need a separate spot for your stove. That's the only thing. Um, I can show you, uh, I do have a MSR pocket rocket here. And I have the uh, can of uh, fuel here. I'm gonna do a shootout video. I mentioned that before when I did another stove just to uh, show the kind of differences between these things. But if you see this opens up and then you'd be able to put this right on top of it. And that's not the most stable thing, but it does work. There's actually uh, a piece that's missing that I don't have yet that people suggest getting. And it's actually a folding plastic little tripod piece that sits under here and kind of gives it some legs that come out. So it's more of a stable platform. Um, because once you get that and that, and then you uh, fill this up with water and you get that on top, it tends to be a little much if you don't have a level surface. But anyway, um, that's just one of the things that I wanted to point out about this particular cook cup. Um, you really, if it's just you, honestly, you could just eat right out of this. I mean, you don't need to bring these cups with you. You don't even really need this. Um, you could just theoretically bring this with you um, and uh, a long a long fork or um, I, I bring one of these guys with me. I actually have another one that I use at work all the time. It's just uh, I keep it hung by my desk so I, I always have a utensil handy. But uh, if you see a fork that's standard, I mean it just it just reaches in there so you can get to the very bottom of that. So if you had a thing of ramen noodles in here and you were eating that, it wouldn't be any problem at all. Uh, you know, if you packed water, like let's say if you're just going out on a hike and you wanted to get out, you know, a few hours into a hike and then sit down and have lunch and you wanted to heat up something hot, you could very easily put this all into a pack and then go out. So I'm going to say this is more of like a backpacking, hiking kind of kit and it's modular depending on which pieces you want to bring or not bring with you. And I find if you take the stove, put it in the case, slip that inside, put some uh, waterproof matches maybe in a pill container, something like that, and stick that in there, which you can see they fit perfect. You have some room for maybe, uh, maybe sticking the fork folded up. I don't think you'll get the fork and the spoon in there together. You might have to split them up like that, but you can see you can get them in there. Put the lid on it. That's pretty much everything you need to cook right there other than the fuel. Uh, and you can see the fuel kind of, you know, sits on it somehow. So if you had a long pack or something, then you could set that into, you could even put one of those cups with it. So definitely it's a nice piece of kit. Um, I will show one other little thing real quick. Again, part of another video, but um, this is just a couple computer fan grills. And this is actually the bottom of a beer can, actually a couple of different beer cans put together. And this is actually an alcohol stove. So you would take that, sit it on here. And as you can kind of guess, I've made all this um, with following plans from the internet, of course. Uh, and then I have a bottle of alcohol. 
and you obviously before you put this together you fill this with alcohol and then this is actually just big enough to sit this on top which is perfect or what I do is I just you know really I could just pack this cup and by the way this lid fits this cup perfectly so if you have that set and you find that you're only going to need a little tiny cook set you could actually just pack this whole thing up too um, the way I design this when this comes apart here you actually put this down the bottom you put the cup inside of it and then you can put the stove inside of that and that makes a nice little compact set um, and then I usually put the bottle of, of alcohol in it with this kind of bag and I just throw this in my pack. So with that, I'm going to clean off the desk here. We're going to get into the second uh, Stanley set here. And now we're looking at the Stanley Prep Plus Cook Set. Now I picked this one up in particular because I found that in some situations the smaller 24 ounce system wasn't quite big enough. Um, plus, again, being modular, this particular one came with some pieces that the other one didn't. Uh, and adding that to what I already have, um, which I'll do in another video, to become a full camp kitchen, um, this had some extra things that I liked. Now, a uh, real quick note on this particular one. I've been going back and forth between this and the bigger brother to it. And the only difference between this and the bigger brother is the bigger brother has another pot included and um, I wanted to get that on the interim that I might go on a trip with a bunch of people and I need, might need two pots I have a two burner stove you know I might need two pots like that kind of mentality um, you can't really get those locally you have to get them online um, this retails for $40 online on, on their site and I think the other one was like $60 and uh, I found other places was higher than that like $65 and I didn't really think spending the extra money um, at the moment would have been worthwhile and uh, you know there was another sets I was looking at like GSI has some sets that are nice that do the same kind of a nesting thing but I ultimately ended up going with this one because I do like the other cup quite a bit and uh, we're gonna go take this out of the box as you can see I haven't opened it yet it's been kind of sitting here teasing me for a few days before I get the chance to actually look at it but I will show you the details this is uh, this actually weighs in at 1.64 pounds. It was on their website, or 0.73 kilograms. They have a 0.16 here, so it's actually double the weight of the other one. Um, I don't do a whole lot of backpacking. I, I'll have to say I do have the gear for it. I mentioned that many times. I'm more of a car camping guy, but I'm not ruling out not going backpacking. But I don't think this would go backpacking with me because it just seems that much heavier. Um, plus, I don't think it's necessary, but for car camping, this thing's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, it is the same stainless steel and um, polypropylene. There's actually utensils in here, which are made out of nylon. Uh, we'll show you that in a second, but, you know, they come with a lifetime warranty, which is great. You can see a little bit of the details, what's inside of here. Let's just open it up because that's more exciting. Um, like I said, I've definitely been wanting to get this out and, and look at it. Of course, in hindsight, I probably should have cut the tape first, but it's not that bad. It comes right out. And you can see it's it's exactly the same construction as the other unit. Um, obviously, this one is nice and shiny because it's brand new. You can see that kind of engraving uh, printing thing that they did in the bottom. And this is a 1.6 quart or 1.5 liter pot. So that's pretty much double the capacity of the other one. This has the same kind of flipping thing. This obviously comes off, that's just a piece of cardboard. And this locks down. And it is a lot longer than the other one, so, you know, when it's extended out, it, it does feel a little flimsier, but I am pretty confident that that's gonna stay on there. I mean, it's got two really good uh, rivets in there. And uh, I haven't really come across any bad reviews, by the way, about any kit. I haven't seen any things like this fell apart or this. Most of the time it's preemptive stuff like I decided to take this off and put that ring thing or, you know, that's a lot of what I see. But you can see very similar. Um, same drain holes, good size pot. You know, this is actually a good size pot for making sauces and stuff on your stove if you needed an extra pot. 
I have actually read people say that they use both of these pieces in their house all the time. Um, that's a good thing to mention. A lot of people say they like the other one for making coffee in the morning. But this is a, a pretty nice little pot. This is actually probably good for doing on your grill too outside. But anyway, under the lid, we can see uh, this is actually a cutting board. I'll show you this whole set in here. As we can see, it's really shiny inside. Perfect. And inside here we have the bowls. There are two bowls here. Uh, let's see if it tells me the size here. I didn't look that up beforehand. Mm, yeah, it's a 20 ounce bowl. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention, by the way, the cups in the other set, it's the same material, but this is insulated. You can see it's a much thicker plastic. So I'm, I'm assuming this would be better for sitting on a table eating out of than this would be actually for holding. Let's point that out now. There's a little notch here and that's actually for the utensils to stick out of. Um, it does come with two cutting boards or lids, depending on what you want to use those for. Again, polypropylene. Uh, inside here, you can see this little uh, contraption. How people joke about this thing. It's, I thought it was actually pretty neat when I saw the reviews of this. Um, all it is is a spatula and ladle. And these come out and connect so you have extending handles or you could actually connect them together if you want make a longer one which is pretty nice or people jokingly say you can actually connect them back to back and you know have it all in one piece um, the ladle obviously you know that's going to come in handy for something like this if you're trying to dish it out into the bowls the spatula might not come in handy for this but when I go car camping I bring a 10 inch cast iron skillet with me that's perfect that really works perfect for that. Plus, you know, being plastic, you don't have to worry about it digging up the uh, cast iron. Well, there really isn't anything more I can show um, with these two particular pieces, because as one can expect, um, you know, what you can modify the one and do, you can do with the other. They're pretty much the same vessel, just a different size and shape, but they do the same function. Um, and you know you could really like i said mix and match hey i might just want to take a bowl with me maybe i could fit one of those cups inside here um put the lid on still you know there's there's a whole bunch of different ways you can go with this there's no cook um there's no cutlery involved in this no utensils so that would be a nice little thing to see included in one of these things but i guess everyone has their own favorite thing um this particular cup I have used the uh, plastic sporks that you can get. The uh, like a, I think you get like a four pack of them. Um, Walmart sells them. I don't have them in front of me here right now, but I have fit those in here with the lid on it. They work pretty well too, and they get all the way down to the bottom. Anyway, um, the only real thing I think I can do actually is pull out the uh, butane stove that I have, which just takes me a second here, and I'll actually show you size wise comparison wise how this one sits now not so good so if you're gonna you know use a small stove with this I would go with the pocket rocket that's in here or you can use this pot on the stove and you can see that fits perfect that's that's a win-win combination and I kind of bought this for here more or less and I kept this for here and uh, well <laughs> If you kind of sit back and look at it now, between this and this and this, I really actually have three distinct cook sets here. Um, and that kind of segues into the shootout video, which would probably be the next video I do relating to this kind of stuff. Um, bearing the fact that, you know, there might be a few technical videos between here and there because I kind of have to get everything set up, but that's, that's neither here nor there. Now, what can I add? Well, uh, I'd have a big burner, you know, two burner stove. This doesn't really fit that well on it. This may because that fits pretty well on this, but that's gonna fit larger things. So I might wanna get a uh, larger, we'll say cook set for the larger stove, which would therefore feed more people. Um, I like being prepared, I guess you could say. Anyway, thank you for watching, and um, we'll uh, see you guys next video.